A patent was approved for the Tesla turbine in 1913. Most people get excited and impressed by the Tesla turbine, but I will show that it is the most inefficient device for transforming kinetic energy of a fluid. A compressed air source, a garden sprayer, an alternative compressed air source, a steam boiler, which I manufactured in school. The turbine relies on the friction between a fluid, liquid or gas, and a smooth solid object to drag the solid object along. As you can see in this demonstration of a crude, open Tesla turbine, the compressed air does spin the turbine. Of course, if there were more plates and they were enclosed, it would make it more efficient. If I add some fins or tabs, the efficiency is improved. The turbine spins much faster. There is no load attached yet. With a simple load attached, the turbine does not spin using the same amount of compressed air. With fins or tabs, it moves a bit more, but it still cannot spin because enough torque is not being generated to overcome the friction of the load. An oscillating engine, a steam engine, which I manufactured as my advanced level metalwork project in school when I was 18 years old, generates much more torque using the same amount of compressed air to drive an electricity generator. Conclusion, using the same amount of compressed air, an oscillating engine is much more efficient compared to the famous Tesla turbine. The Tesla turbine is the most inefficient device for transforming the kinetic energy of a fluid because it relies on the almost insignificant friction between a fluid and a smooth solid.